A 58-year-old caregiver at an assisted living home has been charged in connection with the death of an 82-year-old resident who wandered outside during a winter storm in 2022. On Monday the 20th of November 2023, Colin O'Connor was charged with second-degree vulnerable adult abuse in connection to the death of Lois Carey. The incident occurred in the morning hours of Friday the 23rd of December 2022 at Vista Springs Imperial Park at Timber Ridge Village on Park Lake Road in Lansing, Michigan. Colin twice saw Lois try to go outside without appropriate attire into a blizzard with single-digit temperatures, sub-zero wind chill, and blowing and drifting snow. At 7am that morning, a snowplow driver discovered Lois partially covered in snow in the parking lot. The victim was transported to a local hospital via ambulance, where she died of hypothermia. Assisted living facility officials said that Lois was taking a dog for a walk and thought she may have become disoriented in the snow. The dog is okay and is with family members. Investigators said that Colin recklessly failed to act to protect the victim from going outdoors into the storm, resulting in her death. Colin has since posted a $5,000 bond. The investigation into the matter continues. A woman has been charged with murder after assisting her mother's suicide. At 7.13pm on the 10th of September 2023, authorities responded to a home at 12901 Blue Quail Drive in Jones, Oklahoma after a 72-year-old woman, Linda Watts, took her own life. When officers arrived at the house, they found Linda deceased. During the investigation, detectives learned that the woman's 44-year-old daughter, J.D. Watts, intentionally provided the gun that Linda used to kill herself. Linda was diagnosed with dementia, and J.D. was her caregiver. J.D. told detectives that her mother told her to shoot her earlier in the day, but that she wouldn't do it. Police obtained ring camera video from inside the home on the day of Linda's death, which showed J.D. swearing at and berating her mother, calling her a toddler and threatening her by saying, take your pill or choke on it and die. J.D. left her mother's bedroom, walked into the garage and returned with a handgun. She showed her mother how to remove the gun from the holster and told Linda, do with it what you will. J.D. exited the room again and returned with a drill, saying she was going to lock her mother inside the bedroom. Linda then fired two shots, killing herself. After her mother shot herself, J.D. called a hospice worker and told her that her mother had shot herself with a gun that she provided to her. After the phone call, the hospice worker called the police and relayed the information to them. J.D. told the investigators it sucks being a 24-7 caregiver. On the 21st of November, the Oklahoma City Police Department announced that the case was presented to the Oklahoma County District Attorney's Office and an arrest warrant was issued for J.D. J.D. turned herself in to the Midwest City Police on counts of felony murder by caretaker abuse and kidnapping. She was booked into the Midwest City Jail and was released after posting a $1 million bond. J.D.'s Facebook profile suggests that she recently survived cancer. In a 2017 Facebook post celebrating her mother's birthday, J.D. described Linda as an amazing mum. Linda's death came a week before her 73rd birthday. A 27-year-old high school art teacher is accused of sending inappropriate pictures to a 16-year-old student. On Monday the 20th of November, Emily Swinkowski, who taught at Water Valley High School in Mississippi, was arrested over the photos and charged with enticement of a child and child exploitation in connection with the incident. The case came to light after a different student learned about the teacher sending nude photos of herself to a victim and tipping off the principal, who then contacted police. Emily resigned following her arrest and was released on a $50,000 bond. 